everyone and welcome back to Liz Sews and the next video in my Bra 101 series. So I get a lot of questions all the time about how much does it cost to make your bra? Well, first, let me start out by saying I make my bras not because it's cheaper. I make my bras because store-bought bras don't fit me. So when you're buying a store-bought bra or ready to wear bra, there's a certain ratio of wire size to cup volume. And because my body does not match that ideal ratio, store-bought bras are really, really uncomfortable. So at the end of the day, I think that the real value in making a bra for yourself is not to be more economical or cheaper or something like that, but it's to get you the best possible bra that you can get for your body. And when you have a bra that fits you perfectly, it gives you so much more confidence to be able to go out into the world. And so that's really the thing that is important when making your own bras. That being said, I thought it would be a nice fun exercise to look at what the actual cost is to make a bra. So what I've done is I've selected an inspiration bra. I chose Third Love and I went, you know, window shopping on their website and I found this bra here. And they are charging $76 for this bra. I don't think of Third Love as being a particularly expensive brand. I think of them being a sort of mid-range. Obviously, it's not as cheap as buying a bra from Target or you know, Wish or something like that. It's definitely not a high-end brand like Agent Provocateur. So $76 for bra, I'm pretty sure I can beat that. So I went searching on the internet to find the materials I would need to recreate this bra. I found everything I needed from just two stores, Beware in Sweden and Bra Builders here in the United States. And I will link both of those stores in the description box below. So let's look at all of the materials involved in making the bra. First up, we have the pattern. So typically a pattern is going to cost around 15 to $20. Uh, the pattern that I think is closest to the inspiration bra is the Devonshire pattern from Orange Lingerie. And that pattern costs $17.99. Now typically when I buy a bra pattern, I don't make it just once. So I am going to say that I'll make this bra five times and that way we split the cost of the pattern over five different bras. And in that case, what we're left with is, let's see, $3.60 for the pattern. Next up, we have the lace. Now I happened to know of a mustard lace that's being sold on Viewer right now that I'm absolutely in love with. And of course I have some of it. Uh, and I think it's a very good match to the marigold lace used in the original bra. So this lace costs $3.11 US for one meter of lace. So for me, one meter of lace is more than enough to make a bra like this. Now, if you are bigger, cup sizes, you might need some extra lace or bigger size in general, you might need more lace. Or if you're smaller than me, you might need less lace. So all of this stuff is really sort of mutatable based on your personal situation. But I had to draw a line somewhere and I said, okay, if I'm gonna make a bra, this is what it costs. It's gonna cost $3.11 for the lace. So next up, we have the lining fabric. My go-to lining for lace bra is going to be sheer cup lining and my favorite sheer cup lining comes from Bra Builders. She has it in a wide range of colors. Now I could get this in a special color like Topaz if I really wanted to match that sort of mustard lace or I could just get it in something that matches my skin tone like honey or caramel. So in this case, I'm gonna go with honey to be something that matches my skin tone and sort of disappears. And a half yard of sheer cup lining costs $3.50. Now for a half yard, I can get about four bras out of that. So for this particular inspiration bra, it's gonna cost 87 cents in sheer cup lining. And now we need to look at the material that's gonna be on the back of the bra. So this one needs to be stretchy. So we're gonna get some power net. And again, I would buy this from Bra Builders here in the United States. So I pulled up the Honey Power Net. So for this theoretical shopping trip, I'm gonna buy not a whole lot of this. I'm gonna buy a kit cut of this power net. And the kit cut cost $5.25. Uh, and I know just from experience making bras using Bra Builders kits that I can get about three bras worth of back bands from a kit cut. Again, this is gonna change dependent on your personal size, but I can get three bras out of it. So that's gonna bring our price for this bra, 
USD to $1.75 for the back band material. Now getting a kit cut is a little bit expensive, more expensive than if say you purchased a half of a yard. So if you bought a half of a yard, that price per bra does go down. Uh, a good rule of thumb for me, I always have black, white, and sort of my nude uh, power net on hand because I find that if I have those three colors, it works for most of the bras that I'm making. So I will buy those colors in bulk, maybe a yard or two yards at a time to bring down my price per bra. But if I want a special color, I won't buy a lot of it because I know I won't use that special color as frequently. Now that we've gotten the fabrics taken care of, we can start looking at elastics. So for the underarm elastic, my preference is to use something like a 3 8 of an inch Pico. Again, I'm gonna get this from Bra Builders and for one yard costs $1. And that's a guard is more than enough for me to do my underarm edge. The only exception to that is if I'm doing a fabric strap where the Pico elastic needs to extend up into the strap itself, I might need a yard and a half. But in general, if I don't know what I'm gonna make with the elastic, I just want some, a yard is more than enough to cover the underarm section that I need. So that's gonna add $1 to our theoretical bra. So for the bottom of the band, we're also gonna need some Pico elastic and you want something that's a little bit thicker. So for that, I've chosen the 5 8 of an inch Pico elastic. And again, because of my size, one yard of Pico elastic is more than enough than I need for my band. So, you know, a yard is 36 inches. If your under bust measurement is more than 36 inches, you're probably gonna need more than a yard of Pico elastic. But in this example, I'm just doing how much it cost me to make my bra, and so I have $1.35 spent on the bottom band Pico elastic. Next, we're going to look at strap elastic, and looking at my inspiration photo, it looks like we have some beige strap elastic on there. So I found something that looked fairly similar on Beware's website, and that cost $1.22 US for a meter of strap elastic. And again, a meter is more than enough for me to make my straps. I tend to make my straps about 18 inches on both sides. Uh, it's something that you'll just learn after you make a bunch of bras that what strap length works for you. So a meter is more than enough for me to make the straps that I need. So a dollar and 22 cents for that. Now, of course, I'm using a half inch wide strap elastic. That is my preference. If you are going to be using five eighths of an inch or three quarters of an inch strap elastic, they do tend to be a little bit pricier. For underwire channeling, I'm going to stick with that beige theme. And I found some underwire channeling on Beware's website that is $1.64 per meter. Now, I don't need a full meter of underwire channeling. For my size, I typically buy 0.6 meters. Uh, that's one thing that's really nice about Beware is that you can purchase the elastics and stuff like that in increments of a tenth of a meter. So you can buy exactly how much you need if you know how much you need. So I typically buy 0.6 meters if I'm going to make one bra. So if I adjust that price, what we get is 98 cents for underwire channeling in my bra. Next up, we have rings and sliders. Now, rings and sliders, most of the bra making shops carry rings and sliders. I find them to be really expensive. Uh, my big secret when it comes to rings and sliders is that I buy them on eBay. So as I had mentioned earlier, I always use a half inch strap elastic. So I know that all I need is the 12 millimeter rings and sliders and I got them in a bunch of different colors. So for this one, I would have purchased it off of eBay. I would have gotten this set here that comes in 50. So 50 sets of rings and sliders, which will make 25 bras and that costs $8.50. So if you break that down to a per bra cost, we're looking at 34 cents for your rings and sliders for this bra. Next up, we have the hook and eye. I'm gonna get this back again from Bra Builders. And you have choices in the width of hook and eye. My personal preference is for a three by three. So three rows and three columns. And for a three by three hook and eye, we have $1.64 for this bra. If you like two rows high, obviously it's a little bit cheaper. Or if you like four rows high, it might be a little bit more expensive. And then lastly, when figuring the cost of the bra, we have the underwire itself. So my favorite underwires come from Bra Maker Supply, but I purchase them through Beware. And so I always just buy the regular 
wire and I buy them in the size 40. I know that that's the wire that fits me perfectly. So whenever I'm making a new pattern, that's the wire I'm gonna fit it to. Once you find a wire that works for you, I would say go ahead and buy them in bulk because your body doesn't really change that much. You wanna make the patterns fit the wires that work for you. So for the wires, I'm gonna purchase things from Beware and we're looking at $1.12 for a pair of underwires. So the total cost for this bra with the fabric, the elastics, and the hardware is $16.97 to recreate the $76 bra that we found on Third Love. So automatically, I think that is a pretty good savings. And I also think that at $16, $17 for a bra, that's pretty comparable to the cheap bras that you could find at Target or Wish or someplace like that. Now, I also wanted to look at the combinations of some different combinations of how you purchase your materials. So let's say you wanted to buy a kit. You didn't want to pit piecemeal all of the different pieces. So in that case, you would buy a kit and you'd probably need to buy wires and you still need your pattern. So for the pattern, I'm gonna carry over that cost of $3.60 and I'm gonna carry over my wire cost of $1.12. And let's say that the average kit costs around $27. I've pulled this kit up from the TaylorMade Shops website. And even though it's not an exact match for our inspiration bra, it's still, you know, a lace bra kit. So in that case, if you're using a kit, you're looking at roughly $31.72. So most kits I find have extra material in them, more material than I need. So more lace, more lining, more backband material than I need. So it is entirely possible that if you purchase a kit, you could purchase some more elastics as well and you would get your cost per bra down. But kits are great if you're just starting out and you don't know what the different materials are and you just want somebody to do the work for you. But kits generally tend to be more expensive than picking out the elastics and fabrics yourself. And then the third configuration I wanna look at, which surprisingly actually ended up to be the cheapest option, is if you just buy a findings kit from Bra Builders. So for the Bra Builders finding kits, which I brought up a picture up over here, so the base kit costs about $4.50, and that includes your underarm elastic, your band elastic, your hook and eye, your strapping, your underwire channeling, and your rings and sliders. Now for me, I like to add a little bit extra strapping. I like to do elastic straps. So I'm going to add in the half inch elastic strap option, which adds an additional dollar and 75 cents to that kit. So the total cost for our Bra Builders Finding Kit is $6.25. I'm gonna carry over the cost of our lace, our lining material, our backband material, our pattern, and our wires. And what we end up getting is $16.70. So it's roughly about 30 cents cheaper than picking everything out, picking all the elastics out separately. Now, if you're doing tester bras, a lot of those materials can be reused, so you're not going to lose that cost. So for instance, on a tester bra, I might recover the hook and eye, the straps, the wire, potentially the underwire channeling, all of those things I will, I will harvest from the bra and move them on into the next bra so it's not a lost cost if you're making multiple testing bras. And as you work more and more in bra making, you will of course inevitably get a stash of leftovers, like little bits and pieces. And a lot of times when I'm testing out new patterns, I'm using those leftover little scraps and pieces to make a hodgepodge mishmash bra uh, that doesn't look very pretty, but it tells me how things are gonna fit. So again, that cost tends to go down over time as you make more and more bras. So 16 to $30 to make a bra, but the ability to have a bra that fits you perfectly, I think is priceless. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found the information useful. I'll see you next time. Take care.